let me show you how to use Twitch integration in order to get Twitch sub roles in your Discord. So if you're wondering what are Twitch sub roles, if you look on the right side of the screen here, I have a category that said subs and patrons. By the way, shout out to all my patrons at the top of the video. If you guys want to become a patron, check the description down below. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to have this own separate category that automatically will track who subscribed to your Twitch channel and automatically give them the role without you having to worry about keeping up to date with everything. So let's go ahead and create a new server that we can work with with nice and fresh so go ahead to the bottom left or the left side of the screen where it has the little plus icon it says add a server I'm gonna do create my own I'm gonna do for a club or community or my friends it really doesn't matter and now I'm just gonna call it let's just do test server and let's so let's create a new one so now we're starting from scratch so now if you look on the right side we only have the at everyone command so anybody that joins our discord will have just this basic you know gray text and you know it nothing's fun about that so let's spice it up a bit first thing we want to do is make sure that our twitch account is connected with our discord account and this is going to have to work for every single person that subscribes to your twitch account they have to do this as well they have to integrate their twitch account with their discord account so let me show you what you have to tell them and and also do yourself so go to the bottom left corner go to user settings on this little cogwheel click that and then from here go ahead to connections now go ahead and connect your twitch account so this is what your viewers and subs have to do in order to link up and sync up their Twitch account with their Discord account to make sure everything's up to date. So now you can see here, mine is already enabled. Now you can see all of the sub enabled servers right here. So there's a bunch of different ones that I'm in. So let's go ahead and actually do that so you guys can have your own sub enabled server. So now what you have to do on your end as well after doing this and having your viewers do this is let's get out of here and go to our server settings. So we get to our server settings by going to the top left corner here, click this little down arrow and then click on server settings so now that we're in our server settings what we want to do is actually head over to integrations and then you're gonna to want to go ahead and connect your twitch account so go to the twitch little tab here click on manage and then now go ahead and click enable give it a second to load and then now you can see that we have successfully added our twitch account to the twitch server like not just our discord account but our actual twitch server so now you can see we have a new synced role called twitch subscriber we have one current subscriber that's in the discord that's synced up which is me obviously so now we have a couple different options to work with so we get to choose what happens when that person's sub expires so you can either choose to remove the role which i recommend or a little more harshly you can kick them from the whole freaking server if you have like a sub only discord like server not just a channel i prefer doing remove role and then the grace period just means how long is it going to take for them to have their sub role removed once their sub expires so i like to choose one day just because you know if someone gifts you a sub they have the option within 24 hours to decide if they want to renew the sub and keep their role or if they you know it's just not worth it to them so they have 24 hours to decide and they get to keep the role in that 24 hours and then from here you can also allow sync subscribers to use your twitch custom emoticons in discord so that just basically means that they can use any twitch emote on your channel in the discord channel which i highly recommend because it's a lot more fun and customizable from there you want to go ahead and click save changes and then we want to do a couple other things first thing we want to do is drop a like on this video to help other streamers find this video because i'd greatly appreciate it but after that we can go ahead over to our roles section and actually customize the new roles that we just created so now you can see we have a bunch of different roles we got twitch subscriber and then tier one two three i honestly wouldn't recommend messing with tier one two and three i'm just going to mess with twitch subscriber so let's go ahead and click edit and now we can change the role name you can either just change it to subs or twitch subs i'm gonna do twitch subs just so it's you know less to read on the side but we can also choose what color we make the new role let's go ahead with eye bleeding yellow i'm gonna go click on custom color i'm gonna drag this to yellow make it like a nice lemon yellow so people's eyes bleed when it's in light mode or dark mode you know best of both worlds right and then after that we want to make sure that we enable the display role members separately from online members because that's going to actually show them on the right side of the screen versus just having having the grayed out name that everybody has. So this is actually going to separate them from the crowd. And once they have this role, their name will be the color that you make it and also the title that they make it as well. The rest really doesn't matter too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save changes. You can go ahead and view the server as a role. So that way, if you have this role, you can see what you have access to. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. As you can see on the right side, it's automatically updated. I am a Twitch sub. If you click my name, I have the Twitch sub role. You can see that my name is an eye bleeding lemon yellow and it says Twitch subscriber 
on top. So now we can actually exit out of this, or if we want, we can go ahead and just take this off right here under select roles, and now we can see what it looks like as everyone. This doesn't really matter until you have like a private channel, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. But before we do that, very quickly, we can go back into our Twitch subs role, click edit, go to permissions and from here you can actually give them additional permissions if you'd like so you can allow them to you know add everybody or text to speech personally I wouldn't recommend it because that's super annoying but if you want to be more lenient or give your subscribers extra discord permissions that not everybody has access to you can feel to reward them by going through this little permissions tab and kind of giving them extra permissions if you so choose so it's entirely up to you but real quick let's go ahead and make that sub only chat so let's go back We'll escape out of here. So you can either make a sub only text channel or a voice channel. You can do both. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to do a text channel. Go to text channel. Click this little plus icon that says create channel. From here, we'll just call it subs only. You can call it whatever you want. But the key thing here is making this a private channel. So as you can see, the private channel is indicated by the lock icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click enable. Now I'm going to hit next. These are the members or the roles that are going to have access to this channel. So I'm going to give access to Twitch subs. You can give access to the other three. It doesn't really matter because everybody that has tier one tier two tier three has this one so i'm just going to do twitch subs i'm going to create the channel and now the only people that are going to be able to see this channel are the subscribers you can see in that tiny little corner that it has a little icon it also says text and then limited meaning there's a limited amount of roles that has access to this channel so now let's go back and show that this is going to be sub only and the only the subs can see it you can confirm this by testing it so go to the top left corner let's go back to server settings go to roles let's go ahead to twitch subs let's go to edit and then scroll down a little bit and click view server as role so now we can see that we have access to the general as well as the subs only so now let's go ahead and click select roles at the top i'm going to turn off the sub role and just leave on the everyone role that everyone gets when they first join so let's turn this off so now you can see that we don't have access to the sub only chat anymore you can't even see it unless you have the sub role so now if we go back and have the sub role then you have access to it and you can go in you can chat you can do whatever you want so it's really up to you so now you can feel free to have as much fun and get creative with it but check out the rest of the videos on the channel i think they're going to help you and i'll see you the next one